Okay, here we are at Titan Machine Tool. Today I'm gonna to show you what we got going on. I got some one inch hex stock. Got to drill and tap the ends of them. We got a bunch of different sizes. Some of them, are for, they range from two millimeter up to six millimeter. So I got a bunch of different sizes, but we're gonna set them up and do them all the same way. Could have did them in the lathe, but I'm doing them in the mill instead and I'll show you how I got them set up here. We had options, right? We could set them up in this. In this chucking spacer head, Hartford head. Could have put them in there, right? We got one in there now. But I wanna be able to move these things quick. I wanna be able to open and close the holding device rather quickly. Because doing this thing, you know, opening this thing up and taking them out and flipping them around and putting them in, putting them back in and closing the chuck, time consuming. I got a bunch of them to do. I wanna to try to do that faster. Plus, I don't have a stop. So I'd have to set up some kind of stop down inside the chuck down there because these guys, you know, without a stop, you put them in, you, you can't maintain the same height. So your Z zero is gonna change. So I'd have to put something down in there because they're too deep. So I decided I don't wanna use that. So then I said, all right, well, you could use this thing, right? You know, operate it like that. That's quick, take them out, put them in. 5C hex collet, that would work good, right? Well, they don't make a 5C hex collet to hold one inch stock. So that is not an option. So I set up, up in the, uh, set it up here in the, in the vise. And what I did was I made a little <coughs> angled vise jaw right there, an insert made out of plastic. Take this out of the way. Right there. So I cut the shape of the hex so it fits right in there. That way I can hold them on the flats of the hex. I'm holding on three flats just like I would in the chuck, right? I'm banking on this side, banking on this side, and then the floating jaw closes against this. So it's kind of like a V block, but it's got the shape of the hex on it instead. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's a white piece of UHMW. And then I just uh, took this tall vice jar I got right here and I drilled a bolt pattern on it and I put the same bolt pattern in, in the V-block I made and screwed it to the back jaw. This way it's easy to open the vice jaw with one hand. Boom, you can just open that up one hand, take them out, quickie, quickie, easy peasy. So I got this big old block in there to put the pressure on the hex right in this zone right here. I don't wanna push high on it. I don't wanna grab it at the bottom. So I grab it right around in the middle. So I got this block sitting on some parallels right there. And it pushes against the block, so I'll show you. There again, I still don't have a tripod. Oh yeah, and I, and I marked them all. You see, I got a, a, a mark on them so I know which way to load them. Cause I wanna load them back in the same exact way. Because the hex is not concentric, it's not perfect. So when you put them in, if I put it in this way and I center drilled it and then I took it out and I put it back in this way, it might be off a little bit, maybe not a lot, but maybe a little bit, you know, if I put it in this way, it might be out a little bit, but they're not bad, but at least this way, you know, you can load it back in the same way. So I'll put it in that way. And then when I flip it too, I'll be banking against the same edges. So I'll take it out, flip it over, put it back in, bank against the same hex flats, take it out, change the pot. Then I'll come back after I send a drill and put them in, gotta drill them, take them all out. After I drill them, put them back in, tap them, boom, tap one end, flip it over, put it in, tap the other end. That's how I'm gonna do them. And it's quick, just closing the vice jaw like that. Boom, quick grab, quick grab, quick grab. <clears throat> and to make sure my setup was fairly reliable, I did a, uh, a sampling of seeing how central they are. To get close, I just edge found, you know, so you, you you got the edge, you got the center going this way, but you can't measure on the other flats because they're, they're not parallel to either axis of travel. So I just sweep the hex just to see how close I am. And then I do a random sampling. I'll take that piece, do it, sweep it, flip it over, check the other end, grab another one, put it in, sweep it, 
pull it out, flip it, check the other end just to make sure. And they were all within a couple thousandths, you know? I mean, how precise is the point of that hex gonna be right there after I've already rubbed them on the belt sander and the paper and whatnot? And even if you put them in the chuck and the lathe, the flats don't run perfectly concentric all the time. You know, it's, it's extruded stock. It's not gonna be that precise. But anyways, I'll show you what I did when I did the sampling. I just bring the indicator in, bring it down, and then I'll sweep it, and I'll watch the, the indicator, see what we get on the, so what do we got? Plus one maybe, come around to the other. It's only hitting on the high points of the hex. It doesn't hit the flats, obviously. Come around, what do we got? Within a half a thousandth. We'll come around again, check it. What do we got on the next one? Minus one. We'll come around to the other side so you can see. Hit the next flat. What do we got? Minus one. Come around. What do we got on the next hex point? Minus one. Back around to this one. What do we got? Almost zero. So I did that for 10 pieces and they were all within what you saw there on the indicator, you know, plus one, minus one. That's more than adequate. This is a handle, you know, it's going to be like a we'll screw something to each end of it for like a gauge, no go, go, no go on one end versus the other end. And I, then I got to scribe some, engrave some text on them afterwards too. So maybe I'll show you doing that. But anyways, that's what we got going on here today holding the hex and the vise in the vertical position, banking on the flats, using a homemade V-block that's instead of being 90 degrees, it's 60 degrees, because that's what you got on the hex, right? Six sides, 60 degrees. So it cradles in there every single time and they repeat, repeat rather well, well enough for what we're doing here, so that's how we're gonna do them. And then we can deek, deek, drill them, switch them out, drill them, switch them out. So we've got a quick change over here. Like I said, it's quick to open the vise. It's a pain in the ass trying to do this. You know, hard to do it with one hand. I mean, you could if you're not grabbing tight, but this would have been a good option as well. But like I said, no 5C call it to hold one check stock. All right, so Titan Machine Tool signing off today. That's my video. Sorry I haven't posted one in a while, but have a good day. Thank you.